Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how you can build a two-way buffered bike lane in City Skylines. So first what I want to do is go to my roads panel and draw a large asymmetrical roads. I'm going to go to my medium roads tab here. I'm going to select this road where it's two lanes on one side and four lanes on the other. So in total this is a six lane road, so I'm going to extend this outward. I'm going to place it for now like this, I'll connect it later. I'm just going to use this upgrade tool to flip it the other way like that. So now that I have my basic road piece, what I next want to do is place the hatched markings on the road so I know where to start drawing the bike lane. So I'm going to go to my search here and search for hatched. I'm going to use this template I made from bike middle assets. So I'll just select it and place it outside the road area and then I'll use the movement mod and copy it and then align it so it continues the previous pattern. Then I'll just select it with move it and drag it from there to the road and place it at the second dash line. Then I'll just copy this with move it. I'll just undo that and try it again to align it by placing the hatched markings outside the road area and dragging it from there to the road. And then I'll just continue doing it like this until I reach the end of the road. So once you place the markings on the road, they are a bit hard to move. So I have to go to the selection tool here and make sure I only select buildings. So I select the marking, and the reason why I'm doing this is that the hatched marking template is technically a part. So instead of dragging it out, I have to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it out of the road area, and then I just move it back in again by dragging it and placing it. Next one I want to do is go to my search tab again and search for green. I'm just going to use this green colored square decal and this is just to mark where the bike lane is on the road. So I'm going to place it in this area in between the hatch markings and the curbside. So I'm going to go into my prop line tool control panel, go to options and then turn prop line tool anarchy on. I'm going to also turn prop and tree anarchy also on by doing shift P on my keyboard. Then I'm just going to go to parameters and set the spacing to 4 meters. Then I'll just start painting this area. Now they have it painted, we have the basic format done. So next what I want to do is just for demonstration's sake, make an intersection here. So I'll probably need to turn on my turn on anarchy to make this intersection like that. And there now I can just remove these extra props. Just use move it just like these. Make sure I have props on for the green decals and buildings on for the hash lines. So I'll just select the assets around this area and clear them out and readjust them with move it. Here I'm also going to, to use the bike middle prop and continue this hatched parking pattern. So next I'm just going to place down some green pavement decals in between the intersection to indicate that the street is crossing a bike lane. I'm going to also go to bike middle and draw some additional dotted lines right here for the bike crossing. So next what I'm going to do is go to my landscaping tools and add a bike path and then just place it parallel to the road here. I also want to go to my network skins and turn off all lights on it. I'm going to place it down like this and then use move it. And I want to make sure I have nodes and segments selected and just move it right where the bike path is. Whoops, I want to make sure I have everything selected. I'm 
make sure I have it centered. Like that. So next one I want to do is search for a bike lane. And just place these decals here to indicate that this is a bike lane at the intersection here. So I'm just going to place these down. The next one I want to do is configure the intersections to remove these arrows right here. So I'm going to go to my traffic manager and go to lane connector and make these two go straight ahead. I want to probably want to make this one just turn. Then make these two go have a U-turn. So that's pretty much what you have to do. Then next I want to make sure I apply vehicle restrictions so cars can't drive on these two lanes. So I'm going to go to vehicle restrictions right here. And then I'm going to ban all traffic on these two lanes here. Just do the same as well here. Also, what I want to do is go back to the traffic manager a final time and go to parking restrictions. And I want to disable parking here because I'm also taking up a parking lane with this two-way buffered bike lane. So this should be close to functional now. All I have to do is build up the area around it and connect the roads and extend the bike lanes here a little bit. So now the area around it is pretty much done. So that's basically it on how to make a two-way buffer bike lane build in City Skylines. Thank you for watching this build video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on what you thought about this video. Thanks for watching.